Hey there, this is MathCamp321, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate the area under a curve using what's called a midpoint Riemann sum of unequal widths. Now, I want to caution you that there are many different types of Riemann sums, and if you're doing a homework problem or you're taking an AP test, it's really important that you know which kind that you're working with. This particular one is a midpoint Riemann sum. Let's read the question. Suppose f of x is a continuous function over the closed interval from 2 to 13. Use a midpoint Riemann sum with three subintervals of unequal width on 2 to 4, 4 to 9, and 9 to 13 to estimate the area bounded by f of x, x equals 2, x equals 13, and the x-axis. So the first thing that I want to do is establish what some of these rectangles are going to look like by looking at the intervals themselves. Our first interval spans from 2 to 4, our second interval goes from 4 to 9, and our third interval goes from 9 to 13. So I'm going to delineate these intervals by vertical dotted lines. So my first vertical dotted line is going to be at x equals 2. And my next vertical line is going to be at 4, and then at 9, and finally at 13. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the points given to us on the table. The first point is 2, 5. The next point is 3, 20. The third point is 4, 15. And then 6.5, 10. 9, 15. 11, 25. 13, 20. Now what I'm going to try to do is connect all these points with a smooth curve to give you a, a rough idea of what f of x might actually look like. So this might not look so great, but it's just going to be my interpretation of what this f of x will look like, or what f of x might look like. Okay, so we had a few spots that were a little bit rough. I'll try, I'll try to smooth them over just a little bit. But this might be an example of your f of x. It's continuous and it passes through those points shown. So I want to approximate the area under this curve given these three rectangles of unequal width and the x-axis. Now we know that area is equal to base times height. And we actually are going to have three rectangles. So I'm going to set up three products to represent base times height for each of the three rectangles. Now the base of the first rectangle is going to be from 2 to 4 or have a span of 2. The next rectangle will go from 4 to 9 and have a span of 5. And our final rectangle will go from 9 to 13 and have a span of 4. So we have a base of 2, we have a base of 5, and we have a base of 4. And that, that came from here too, you could have looked at that and, and known the same thing. Now we need the height. Now because we're using a midpoint Riemann sum, we're going to look to the midpoint of each of these spans. So our first interval is from 2 to 4, and the midpoint of that would be 3. So I'm going to cap off the rectangle here, and that value is 20. Now my second interval is from 4 to 9, which is a total width of 5, and half of 5 is 2.5. And if I move 2.5 in either direction of the endpoints, I end up at 6.5. So I'm going to cap off this rectangle at 10. So the height of the second rectangle is 10. Now the third rectangle has a width of 4. Half of 4 is 2. And if I move 2 units from either side of the endpoint, I end up at 11. So I'm going to cap this rectangle at 25. So the width of each rectangle came from the intervals themselves, but the height came from looking at the midpoint of each of these intervals and projecting up to the corresponding point. So our first product is 40, our second product is 50, and our third product is 100, giving us a total estimated area of 190. So the estimated area of the region under this green f of x from 2 to 13 using a midpoint Riemann sum of unequal width is 190.